Good afternoon, my name's Michael. Welcome to ICANN News. We hope you enjoy. West Japan has been, had, has been hit by typhoons and heavy rains on Friday the 13th, July 2018. This is not unusual because it is typhoon season. Hundreds of people died and over 50 people are missing. Seven, over 70,000 rescuers and volunteers are helping are helping survivors on the roof of their homes. And I'll bring you to Chivaka on West Japan. Thousands of houses have been flooded and the electricity was cut off. Now we have somebody talking with one of the survivors who survived the flood. Now I am talking to one of the survivors. What did you see? I saw landslides coming at people and their homes. Next, I saw super heavy rain and high winds which caused flood really quickly. Thank you for your information. Right now, thousands of rescuers are doing their best to do whatever they can to save West Japan from the floods. Thank you for, thank you for watching our news today. To, we will have we will have updates. We will we'll update more news tomorrow. Stay tuned tomorrow. Thank you. Good evening and welcome to I Can News. Hello, I am Yipada Buke. Hello, I am reporter Sunita. Hello, I am reporter Wadi. Today, we are going to be reporting on love. In terrifying incident with the front and more. Uh, mm, hello, my name is Sunita, and this is Wadi. And this is when the flood started. It was a Sunday at 11 p.m. The dam was found to be partly damaged so and the authorities were alerted and the villagers were already evacuating it and the dam did collapse and caused a lot of damage it even traveled all the way down to north cambodia this has caused water level in stung train to rise up to 11.5 meters back in laos Almost 6,600 people were made homeless after the flood and over 100 houses were destroyed. It was said that some lives were lost, also meaning that the people had dead, sadly died. They were lucky that the Singapore Red Cross donated $100,000 as seed money to start a fundraising appeal. Also, the Singapore Civil Defense Front is set to send a team of officers to help with the disaster. I hope that might sound like good news, but the citizens of the past are currently still very heartbroken. They have lost two or more family members. The lucky one lost none. That is all our wonderful information collector has to say. And we have a visitor. She is one of our heroes. She will tell us about her experience saving the people. I was excited to be one of the main rescuers and worried that I wouldn't help that much. But then, I, after I saved a lot of people with my team, I felt like I made a big achievement. My teammates congratulated me and when I couldn't see any more people we went to take the citizens and we stayed to safety. Thank you very much for listening to our news and have a great day. Come back next time for more shocking reports and I can use global. Welcome, Welcome to, to Ike, Ike News. News. 
I'm your news anchor, Kanika. And I am your other news anchor, Haley. Breaking news, West Japan has suffered a devastating typhoon. The typhoon caused a major flood. Many people have lost their homes. Two million people evacuated the area, but 88 died. Many buildings were destroyed. And then the people can't live there anymore. More than 70 rescuers try to help, including the fire service and the army tr is trying to help relieve effort. We have an expert here today, so he's going to tell us about the typhoon. The typhoon started last week. It caused major damage to people's homes. It also caused a giant flood. Can you explain what a flood is? A flood is when heavy rain causes the water levels to rise. A to rise. Another way for it to flood is rain to get into cre in to creeks, rivers and lakes and the water and the water's source overflows. What damage did the flood cause? The flood the f many homes were flooded or destroyed. Electric power lines broke through harsh winds. Well, well, that's, that's all, all for the time, time we have today. today. Thanks, Thanks for watching, watching and have, have a good day. day. Good evening and welcome to I Can News. I'm your news reporter, Tina. There has been a terrible flood in Japan, Chikoku province. Let's start with the survivor. How did it feel being stuck in your house? It was it was terrible. I was just sitting there watching TV when there was a huge overflow of water down down the road. I was terrified until a rescuer came to help help me in his helicopter. Thank you very much. Now let's hear the rest of your experience. How do you feel while helping others? I was very happy and worried at the same time because you never know what's going to happen. You might a building might collapse right in front of you and you might end up dying. <laughs> but I I was really glad to, to help people and I was very happy. Helicopters and boat went to Japan to rescue people who were stranded. For nine days, the schools were closed and no one had running water. This was a huge problem because uh, no one had wa drinking water or water to flush the toilet. We had been told that Taiwan had donated 20 million yen to the relief support. So let's find out how this flood actually happened. I'm a meteorologist and I'm going to tell you about the causes of the flood. There has been a dangerous typhoon that has caused all this chaos and damage. It brought torrential rain from June 28th until the start of January. This has caused local rivers to overflow. This has been a terrible natural disaster for West Japan. We hope they recover soon. Thank you. Broadcaster Viterka. Today we are going to talk about the big flood in Kerala. Introducing the meteorologist Lisa. So Lisa, why has the weather been so bad lately in Kerala? So the sun heat so the sun heated up the water, which is called evaporation, and the particle forms into a cloud, which is called condensation and the cloud gets heavier and rain starts to happen. Why, what does the water cycle have to do with any of this, Lisa? The rain got really heavy and it started to not go in, 
into a cloud ground. And instead lay it on the ground, also a river overflow, which added more impact to the situation. That's a flood. It got, it got so bad that lots of houses were destroyed. We also have a survivor with us today, Kelly. The flood destroyed my home and my supplies were gone. Luckily, I got saved by the rescuers and I'm in a relief camp now. This is one of the rescuers, Tete. When I went inside my helicopter, I could see tons of people starting us to float to destroy their house. What else did you see? Lots of pets were abandoned and lots of people got killed. 483 in fact. That flood must have been horrible. But also witnesses saw what happened. David, you there? Yeah, I saw the Yeah, I saw the 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 flood. I wasn't involved that much, but I saw the damage. More than ten thousand kilometer of road were damaged because of the flood. Also there were landslides and huge chunks of mountains fell on roads so we couldn't really escape. Luckily, me and my curls saw and helped out. That's what happened in Kerala, India, a month ago. I'm your broadcaster, Vicherka, and you just watch the international news shows. Welcome to ICANN's News Report, brought to you by Lucy. Kerala has been hit by extreme floods. I have Jimin who was a witness of the floods. What did you see in the floods? It was awful. I saw houses being destroyed, people drowning, and I could hear people screaming. Okay, thank you for that information. How many people did you save, Jimin, and how many people died? Well, 22,000 people survived in the flood. Unfortunately, 350 people died and 14 missing. Luckily, there is a relief camps to help people with no homes and give them free food, water, and treat them if they are sick. It's so fortunate that 22,000 people survived and you will try your best to save other people's lives. Yes, we will try to save more people. Thanks for talking. That's great that people are volunteering to save people's lives. This has been the worst flooding for Kerala the, for the past century. It was caused by monsoon rain with people trapped in their house by water. Do you have any tips for people in Kerala? Yes. If floods are coming close to your house, then get to the roof of your house and do not ignore flood warning. Also, try not to get into the flood water. Thank you for those tips. What did you lose when you were in the floods? I lose my house, clothes, food and water. Where are you staying right now? At a relay camp. It is really scary seeing big amounts of water coming up to see a destroying house and people belong. Thank you for watching ICANN's News Report. Come tomorrow for more.